to you who sets foot in this shrine. I am Owa Dame. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Stasis trial? Ooh, this looks serious. Stasis power, huh? That's what we're gonna get. She costly authenticated distilling room. All right, we got stasis. Stop the flow of time for an, for an object. Stops an object in time while storing its kinetic energy. The stored energy will act upon the object when the flow of time resumes. Making good use of the stored energy can move even the largest of objects. There it is. So I'm not 100% sure what they mean by that, but let's go ahead and test this thing out. Oh, they moved it over here. Okay. Um... So we can only use it on highlighted objects. Rather than using it on the platform itself, we're going to use it on the gear. Why didn't that work? There it is. I guess uh, the platform got in the way. It doesn't last forever, though. That's a timer. It's counting down. Okay, so it lasts for what? About, like, five seconds, and then we definitely get, like, an accelerated countdown when it's about to end. So we will have a sense, I guess. Um, can we use it on something that far away? And now nothing's coming? Oh, there it is. Okay. We can use it on something that far away. That's interesting. There's almost always been a chest, like, somewhere in these shrines, though. That's a big-ass hammer. Iron sledgehammer? This large iron sledgehammer was originally used for mining, but it works reasonably well as a weapon, too. Hmm. I think we're going to want that. Yep, there's a chest right up there. Okay, so let's... Okay, I missed that one. Um... I think there's probably enough time to just run up there and do this without stopping that thing. Famous last words. This'll be fine. Ooh, okay. Traveler's Shield. A sturdy shield loved by many an adventurer. He only does four. Eh. I don't know. I think I have, like, a crappy pot lid right now, don't I? Yeah. But I, I was kind of holding on to that because it says it can take quite a beating. So that's like... That's like the trade-off shield right there. This one's shoddy, so don't expect it to last very long. Let's get rid of this one. I guess. Okay. Now I'm gonna wait. There we go. Very good. I can't remember if I got... You know what? I think I did miss a chest in one of these shrines. Maybe at some point we'll go back. So, we definitely want this iron sledgehammer. What are we going to have to get rid of? Boko Club. Torch. we got to keep at least one torch. This sucks. I haven't even gotten to use some of this stuff. We definitely want to keep the Korok Leaf, even though it's uh, weak. We want to keep one woodcutter's axe. We want to keep one torch. Guess we're getting rid of this traveler spear. That sucks. But it's probably worth the trade. <laughs> Alright, so... I'm guessing this is going to be a test of that kinetic energy thing. If we just use that, that doesn't really work. So... We do that. And then we beat the shit out of it. Hey. Hey. 
And it goes freaking flying. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I wonder how much trouble we can get ourselves in with that. Also, I wonder how durable the sledgehammer is. Am I going to not be able to do that once the sledgehammer breaks? That would be awful. Yeah, we've heard all this before. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. Blah, blah, blah. Actually, we can skip this. Eh, we'll let it play out. It's almost done anyway. <laughs> I don't like skipping stuff, even stuff I've already seen before. Four orbs. Now we gotta go back to the Temple of Time. Good. Thanks, buddy. Let's do this. Okay, so we have all of our rune powers now. Well, not all of them. There's still a space in there for, like, something else to come. But we got the four that this dude wanted us to get. Perfect guard. When equipped with a shield, if you press A to deflect a monster's attack at just the right moment, you'll be rewarded with a chance to counter the attack. Oh! A lot like Dark Souls. We'll have to try that. Ho! Oh. Oh. Ho! Where is he? There he is. With this, you have now acquired all of the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. <laughs> oh ho! Extraordinary! <laughs> that means it is finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first... Hmm. Imagine an X on your map, with the four shrines as the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Ah, oh, that's, that's neat. That's a neat little puzzle. Do you understand? Where two lines connecting the shrines would cross. There I will be waiting. Yeah, I get it. I, I would actually love to have that paraglider right now because I can see the Temple of Time right there. But <laughs> I can't really get to it from here. But we got something to take care of first. Oh, sh no, no, no. Oh, God. I didn't mean to climb on it like that. And hey, look, there's a little arrow that tells you which way it's going to go flying, too. So, hold up. Hold up. Could I do that technique right there, store up the kinetic energy, and then hop on it and send myself flying through the air? Because that sounds freaking amazing, if I could use that as, like, a method of travel. I don't know how I would do that without dying, though. Not a traveler's bow. This is actually, uh, this is getting a little annoying. This stuff is just like... You're constantly having to go in and, and drop something. I kind of wish uh, the weapons lasted a little longer and you didn't like get quite as many of them. I feel like that could be balanced a little better. But it's not a huge deal. I think it just means I need to use stuff more liberally. Alright, so let's go ahead and try and get back to that chest at the... Frozen place? I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I got to try it. And I guess I'm going to have to use a meal just to not die. That kind of sucks, but we'll spend one meal and play around in this area a little bit longer. If you jump while your shield is out, you can climb aboard it using A. This will knock some durability off the shield. Wait, what the fuck did that... All the interesting, like, tips I never get to see because they disappear as soon as I start reading them. Makes me sad. Okay, let's use one of the... Here we go. Three minutes. And then we want to pop right down yonder. So wait, hold on. Is this frozen that I could actually walk on it? No, no, it's not. That, that hurts. That hurts big time. Okay. We want... Ice power. Oh, wait, I thought there was another space in here. Yeah, I must have been seeing things. No, I guess we do have all the rune powers now. Whatever. We can throw that out pretty far, so if we throw that right there... And then... I still don't know if I can get to it, though. There must be some way to get to it, or else they wouldn't... Like, I've put that here, right? Isn't that logical? 
I don't know. Can I, like... Can I move that thing? Shatter. It just drops it right back in there. Damn it. That sucks. If I had the paraglider, it would probably be a simple matter. I guess we'll have to come back here again once we get that item. Hmm. Okay, well, since we have two more minutes of cold resistance, let's go fuck up these guys. Because you know they deserve it. Pitchfork time! Come here, you little wankers. Actually, let's start off with a bomb. That seems like a, like a good way to always start a battle. Oh, man. <laughs> that seriously wrecks house. Done. Oh, our pitchfork's about to break. Oh, I'm sad. Okay. Dude was about to come at me with a flaming boko club. I will take that meat. And we'll just, uh, we'll look around for a little bit more. These guys didn't really have anything good. Let's go grab this loot down here. Where oh shit, what was- what? Where did that come from? Are you kidding me? A bunch of giant snowballs just appeared out of nowhere and rolled down this hill. How the fuck does that work? I'm so confused right now. That really surprised the hell out of me, guys. <laughs> Okay, there goes the pitchfork. Oh, that was a waste. Fuck these things. Broke a club on them. Huh. Well, there's actually not really anything interesting going on here anymore. Other than these mysterious giant boulder snowball things that just appeared like fucking Batman ran me over. Okay, so the four shrines they form an X. It's gonna be like somewhere right around the Great Plateau here. Kind of like in the middle of the water there, probably. I bet you that's it. That little island right there in the water. Let's fast travel to the Shrine of Resurrection and we'll try and make our way in that direction. I also want to try and find some fish so I can try and make that recipe for that dude. A quagmire that will draw you in. Sink in too deeply and you'll be unable to escape. Bottomless bog. That sounds treacherous. Stasis. This power allows you to halt time for certain objects, completely stopping them in place. Yeah, that sounds really OP. I think some of these puzzles are probably going to get pretty crazy. Like with the combination of powers we have right now. We can do some really crazy stuff, I think. Traveling to this place kind of sucks, because we have to climb out every time. <laughs> I will say, I think instead of heading straight for that spot where I suspect the old man's going to be, I think I'm going to go over to the Temple of Time first, because I want my damn upgrade. Whatever it's going to be. I don't remember which building it was in. I think it was the one, like, up top here. Hmm, what is that? Dude! There's a sword just, like, stuck in a rock right there. Um... Oh, and there's a place we can bomb open right there, too. Okay. Hold up. Oh, there's fish in there, too. Okay, there's like three things I want to do in this area. Get up there. Kidding me? I was going to say, I know you can climb that. Oh, it's just a rusty broadsword. This once fearsome sword has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hands, but also breaks quickly. Ah. Uh, thought it'd be a little better than that. That's all right. Didn't expect that to work. Happy that it did. <laughs> You gotta be careful in the water, because the stamina meter can just vanish quicker than you think. 
Opal, a valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing iridescence similar to the inside of a seashell. It contains the power of water. So that's going to be another crafting item, I bet. Let's get over here and see if we can't grab some fish. Luckily, we got a little spot right here to rest and recover our stamina. There you are. Come here, you little fucker. Oh my god, it worked! It totally worked. Hyrule Bass, an ordinary fish that can be found all over Hyrule. It can be eaten raw, but cooking it amplifies its healing benefits. We don't even need a fishing rod, guys. We just go at it raw. Just get in there and grab that shit. So, okay. We got the fish. We've got some spice berries. We need some kind of meat. This is my big problem, is I don't know if, if, like, if it matters what kind of meat you put in. Or if any kind of meat will work for that recipe. Honestly, I might end up save scumming that, just to make sure that I don't waste whatever I put into that recipe. <laughs> I think we looted this place pretty thoroughly already. Oh, look, it's glowing now. I wonder if we're about to get in a fight here. Wait, did it always glow like that? You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being, so tell me what it is that you desire. Oh, we've got a choice, guys. Heart container or stamina vessel. Oh, Bill. That's actually a tough choice. Right off the bat, though, I gotta go with stamina. You wish to expand your stamina wheel, yes? Hell yeah! I shall grant the power you seek. Stamina Vessel. The size of your stamina wheel has been increased, allowing you to perform more actions before getting tired. Love it. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. You know, I could... Huh? The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Here I am. Get up here, quickly! Oh, I guess this is the spot where he was coming. <laughs> that doesn't really look like it's in the middle of an X of these things. I guess it kind of is. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess it is. Now that I look at it, I can see it. That's awesome, guys. So we can run just a little bit longer now. We can probably climb just a little bit higher. Um, hmm, whoops. I guess we're going up to that place where we got the bow before. I should probably do this much the same way I did before, because I know that that way works. A couple places to rest right around here. Let me get right there. Okay. Eh, eh, eh. Oh man, it takes longer to come back, too. Kinda sucks. So I guess I did this a little early. They're requiring this in the story right now, but uh... <laughs> I couldn't wait for that shit. I wanted to know what was up there right now. Although now that I think about it, we never did go to the very top, did we? We just stopped in this room right here. You know what? Let's try that now. Why the fuck not? There's probably nothing up here. Yeah, there's actually not really anywhere to go. Alright. Careful, careful, careful. Oh. You know what, this is probably a good spot to test this. So when I let go, if I hit B... Okay, hitting B again does not let him re-grab. I think I just have to actually hold up. Yeah, that's what it is. That's how we descend quickly. Okay, got it. Now, let me up here. <laughs> oh, 
Well done there, young one. Oh, he's voice acting. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. Okay. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. Ah. A kingdom which no longer exists. That makes sense. Wow. Why don't you wear that shit all the time? You look awesome. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path. Lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. No. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. Hell yeah, hit me with it. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power, and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power, and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight bravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That's why we couldn't choose our name, because they say Link in the voice acting.
That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Wow. Um, no? Hmm. Okay, uh, go on. Here is the paraglider, just as I promised. We got a paraglider! An item that you receive from the king on the Great Plateau. It allows you to sail through the sky. Press X while you're in the air to use it. Sweet. And we've completed the main quest, the Isolated Plateau. It only took how many hours? With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. <laughs> I told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. Wait. No, 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 no. Is the old man gone? I need to get that that thing from him. I'm upset. All right, we got some new objectives, guys. Destroy Ganon. Yeah, no biggie. Just just go and destroy Ganon. That's your new objective. Seek out Impa. You were tasked with going to Kakariko Village to speak with Impa, who will give you more details in your quest. Descend from the Great Plateau and head east beyond the Dueling Peaks, then follow the road to the north. The blinking dot on your Shika slate map will guide the way. That is so cool. It's like such an amazing blend of traditional Zelda, but like evolved. Like Zelda has absolutely evolved, guys. I'm so happy about this. So... Uh, as far as I can tell, we don't actually have a compass on our mini-map, which is unfortunate, but we do have the waypoint showing us that... Wow, that's really far away. Ooh, that's so far away, guys. <laughs> I think at this point we could go pretty much anywhere we wanted. I think they gave us, like, a little bit of story dictation there. But it's kind of up to us. Oh, this uses stamina? For real? Okay. Well, it actually goes pretty slow, so I guess that's actually not a big deal. And we were pretty high up there. I don't know what else we can do with this thing. If I hit X again... Oh, we can do like a... Like a grounding smash attack. That's pretty badass. And right over here, apparently, is that chest that I marked so long ago. Ooh, I bet you we can get that now. With the uh, ice thing. Oh, and I don't have to be careful when I'm descending anymore. I can just do that. That is sick. Alright. 
Ice. Ice baby. And I guess, I guess I missed. <laughs> Can I do this in the water? No, I can't. That sucks. So I guess we're going to be able to get an upgrade with every four shrines that we do. I wonder how many shrines are in the game. I can't even see the chest right now when I'm trying to do this. That's not going to work because it starts formulating on top of the water and that chest is like way under underwater. Oh! The magnet works on this one? Why does it work on this one and not the other ones I tried? I wonder if I just messed up. That's so weird. Alright, we got some amber. And uh, we should probably clear that stamp now. We definitely don't need it anymore. Deleted. Yeah, I don't know if uh, if I just messed up trying to magnet all the other chests that I tried it on, or if it only works on some of them. It's very weird. That guy is going to mess me up. If oh, shit! Who just shot that at me? Who did that? Oh, you little fucker. Come here. Yeah, that's what I think of that. Oh, time to play around with you. Well, guys, we've made some really good progress. I think I'm going to pick up this stuff over here. More arrows on the ground. And, uh, I think this game really just opened up big time. I'm, I'm really happy about that cutscene. That was a cool freaking cutscene. Seems like it's like a pretty traditional Zelda story, but with its own little twist, just like all the other ones have. And, uh... I think we can really go anywhere we want. And I'm so excited for this. This is absolutely nuts. We're probably just gonna, like, do what the story said and head towards Kakariko. Because there's probably some really cool stuff in that direction. And, um... I kind of want to, like, find a town and actually meet people and pick up side quests and things like that. So far, this has been a pretty isolated experience. Very lonely. Not much going on. But... Yeah, I think we're going to jump off this plateau and just head in this direction and see what we find when we come back. Thanks as always for the support, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying. Let me know in the comments what you think of the series so far. I'm Dude Long Couch, and I'll catch you guys in the next part. Take her easy.